Carmelo, July 23rd, 2012, 7 p.m. Uh, move to accept the agenda. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, take a motion for uh, yeah, I'll seven take, minutes. I have one edit. Yep. On the, the July 9th uh, minutes, uh, at the very bottom, second to last line where it says overview. I think it should be view, uh, review. search warrant today for 261st Parish. That's where an um, elderly woman was taken out and the conditions were less than nice. Another boarding case. It's possible. Yeah. Um, I think it's just, some of it's a breakdown of maintenance. Um, and this is a lady we get dealt with before. Um, so I will be going in this week and doing a full assessment. She is in rehab for six weeks and is expecting something from me to tell her what she's got to do so she can get back in there. Oh, previously, we had worked with her. I have the search warrant. Oh. So I'll go, I'll go with the police. And Are they family members? No family members nearby. She's, she's 89 and her sister lives in New Mexico. Um, there is a friend um, that suppose I haven't been in contact with, but now that I have this search warrant, I will because if she has a key, she was supposed to be arranging some electrical work. 
Um, so I need to know the status of whether she did or she didn't too. So, um, and if she has a key, then I'll get it. I'll show her the search warrant and hopefully she'll let me in. Um, so, that will be an ongoing case. And I'm in the middle of a, a case I was in before where I sort of told the owner's agent not to let anybody back in because the systems were failing. Something was failing, and there was other problems with the house. Well, they, they did. I didn't know about it. And then I was in a position where I couldn't get a hold of anybody. I had other, there was a split family, and the original family was, was very concerned that the new family wasn't probably take care of it. And I did get partially in, partially one of the units last week. But it was, um, four rooms were locked. So, um, and the guy that let me in left, told me to lock up. I didn't even get his name, so <laughs> I okay. And then I heard, I left a note, and the guy from the other unit called me, but I was so busy that day that he said he'd be home, I couldn't go that day, so. I, before I send all the paperwork, I'm gonna try and get in again, and see the rooms I didn't see, get into the other unit. But there are already obvious violations that have to be cleared up. And the matter's in court in an estate with no administrator. And one half of the family is against the other half of the family. Blah, 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 blah. So when you do that, do you do that alone? Or do you have somebody with you? Does the building inspector go with you? Or does well, originally, D Deputy Murphy was with me. But he left before I did. And then as I was starting to back out, the other guy pulled in. Well, I'm going to what I kept when I made. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know? I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I took pictures. So I have, you know, and I'll take more pictures when I get back in again if there's something valid. But I already know that this, and the other guy, the agent has sort of admitted there's a problem with the septic and he knows about it. But um, I, it was originally up for sale. I contacted, found out who the um, real estate agent sent her an email, told her. This place was not proof of habitation. So, you know, I'm more than you. Well, I don't know how you're choosing to represent this, but I knew the systems were failing. He contacted somebody, a local contractor, to get systems fixed, but that went nowhere fast. I think there might be just a few conservation issues. Um, so it, 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 it's, it's a it's a mess, pretty much, because of a variety of reasons. Not to mention which, I'm not sure how good the English of speaking is of the tenants. But I, you know, I will give them a copy of their legal rights as a tenant, so that's about as much as I can do. And you know, if they want an interpreter, I know I can get a hold of Jimmy DeBarros probably, and uh, he can probably help me. Or I might I might be able to get an interpreter through the um, region for the we have a service that we could use. Um, so those are sort of the complicated biggies I'm dealing with, besides the usual stuff. Um, Mary's picking stuff up daily and um, we keep finding things. <laughs> Or not finding stuff. things yeah. and then finding things. Picking up your stuff daily, meaning phone calls coming in. Or or phone calls coming in, people coming in, people wanting plans, realtors looking for sign offs, um, people dropping off plans after your plans are done, you know, trying to get the contractors in to sign off so we can do the sign offs, where are the as builds, you know. Yeah. So is the honeymoon over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a good time. Good, good. So we want to. Hear. I haven't heard any complaints yet. Except that she keeps saying. Not in front of you, at least. Well, she said she keeps saying, "Well, you know so much. Like, she's never going to catch up." But I'm going, "You don't have to." <laughs> you stay in the race. Yeah, it's it's just you know, and every day is different. And and the thing is, you I know, told you, you don't you really have me full time yet because I'm still doing all the sewer department bills yeah. from up here. So I'm, you know, I'm, that's distracting. Hopefully that will change soon. Yeah, well, 
you you haven't complained of being bored yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll put that stuff on hold, and uh, I guess 7, 10 p.m., uh, a continuation of public hearing, 62 Cornette Stetson Road. And I'm Darren Grady from Grady Consulting. Um, we continue this for uh, DPW approval uh, uh, for the system near the, near the road. Uh, they talked to Jennifer up to me in the office today and uh, gave me a call and they were also in that. Exactly. Yeah, Sean looked good. That's great. Now, what about the setback from the catch base? Setback from the catch base, I have over 25 feet from here to here. Uh, I believe the setback is actually 10 feet for, um, from the leaching field to the catch basin. Uh, and um, from the uh, septic tank to the catch basin, I think it's 5 feet. Uh, so we have to meet those setbacks. Okay. Okay. Those are actually the issues. All right. That was it. Move to approve the uh, variances requested for 62 corner steps in the road. Okay. Uh, was the DBW okay with it? Does that need to be in writing or is that just a fine? Okay. Well, Mary took a message and put it in writing for me. <laughs> I, mean, I just want to make sure that we've come to Well, I, I, you know, I heard from Darren last week and this week, and then I, and I bugged Kevin today just to make sure he knew. Did you get that verbal or email? Um, no, Kevin physically walked into the office to give okay. me a message. Yeah, I mean, whoever we need to, as long as we make a note of that. I mean, just yeah, okay. Okay, in our minutes. Yeah, yeah. Kevin reported. No, no, Sean reported. Sean reported. No, but it was Kevin Cafferty that came in to oh, tell me that yeah. Sean had gone. Oh, okay. And, oh, okay. And, and, uh, That's and I'll, okay. I'll, I'll Y'all covered. We're covered. <laughs> We're good. It's good. I will second to my motion to All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of that. I appreciate that. Oh, no problem. Jennifer was big help. Thank you. <laughs> but good. Take care. Um, okay. Well, Rex, that's what my head was in with, and that's why the door wasn't open. <laughs> um, yeah, Frank's been telling me for a couple weeks to give him ones I like, <laughs> and then and then we'll get it on board. But you know, I'm, I, I've got a real cut and paste here. That's okay. Um, I can do that. Yeah, um, I like parts of Orleans, parts of Mar Marshville. I like, I like the um, the definitions. I think are, are more um, I think we're going to be looking at a combination of definitions from from about three different ones, but. Um, there's things about Orleans that I saw that I didn't see in other ones. There's things in Marshfield that I saw that I didn't see in other ones. One thing that I think we should be testing for in our wells is radar, which, you know, I never really thought of until I saw it here and I'm going, damn, that's right, we need to know that. We need to know if there's radar. And that's, and that's our, that's our yeah, part of the well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing that got me is that that caught everybody's attention last couple weeks ago was that on the, that Spencer Road had a, had a well on it. Right. I mean, how are we ever gonna how are we ever gonna be able to ascertain what where how many wells irrigation or otherwise that there are? Because if, if what we do is we can have in the beginning we can have people register their wells. And we'll put it in the paper. Yeah, we can do. It. Yeah, fun. Put it on the website. Yeah, we can put it on cable TV. And just, and just try to develop a database. Right, yeah. right, right. Um, Would there be a fee registered? Yeah, maybe five bucks or something. Register now and you get a great register in six months and you get a That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah I mean. Because it's a non penalty. We, we yeah, but how do we know if it's an old one or a new one? Yeah, but it's just getting people to come forward. And I think the no fee thing is the town doing the right thing, is government doing the right thing? The other thing is... We just get the information, that way we got it. And it yeah. It's not a penalty that, geez, I got charge me 10 bucks to, you know. Well, the other thing is, is I think the water department may have an 
inside list of some people they know have wells because of the irrigation yeah. stuff yeah. that they've already did, their irrigation rules. Get out of the come off the water department rules that come off the main the system, right? For that would be that would only be potable. Yeah. Um, so um, and that well behind Jeff Martel's the sewer thing, the sewer connection. This one down back the harbor? Yeah, the one we just oh. got approved at the Is last meeting. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. He doesn't, uh, he no. uses it in the house, but he drinks bottled water. So that, now that's one I definitely think should be tested. Yeah. So we have to be careful how we write that. Right. Uh, are we going to write this down between irrigation? Are we going to try to, are we going to come up with, are we going to do it in pieces or are we going to do it I th I th that, that, that includes both? I think we do it in a food box. Okay. Well, okay. It, it, I, th I think I think it's going to include. I want it to include everything, but I think the first thing we should look at is like definition stuff and the administration, mm -hmm. and then we can look at the irrigation because that is the biggest one we have really, and um, it's not as important. For, Potentially, health risk. Yeah, as horrible ones could be if something and was, what, something what's was wrong. What's the proximity that it can be from a septic system? I think, think it's 20, 20, 25. Uh, irrigated is 25. Okay. Um, and that's the other thing is I saw in the in these various things is their setbacks are all over the place. Um, yeah, I mean we can make them stricter, but I don't see any reason why. Well, that's just it. Some mm -hmm. of them are stricter than Title V, and but the other thing they bring up that I that you know I didn't really think about is some of them are also looking at setbacks from landfills and hazardous waste sites. Oh, that's, that makes sense. You know, and, yeah. and older new, older current junkyards of which we have a few. Yeah, on the West End's got the old landfill, which there might be some developable. Yeah, and there's the one behind Stockbridge, too. There's an old one there. Yeah. That was the original one. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. yeah. How about from wetlands? Um, wetlands, um, I, there's nothing in Title V on that, but that's one that I already told Jim that I'm going to come at him for because I want the water department's view on it, and then I want to talk to conservation's view on it. Because um, you know we we are potentially in the same aquifer areas. Well, just well, that was which the is the next what, question is 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 what if you have the next to the, the reservoirs? Yeah. Well, the thing well the thing is is if the town's drawing it down or you're drawing it down, and you're no longer connected to the town, technically you're using maybe the same amount that you mm -hmm. would have. But you worry about contamination from that person as well. So well, that's why it has to be done the right way. Um, and that brings up an issue too when you say that about water and lawns, because if you're in the aquifer, like you said, you'd think potentially you're using the same, but if you're on a well and you're not limited by water and days, then you could be draining more than the average. Yeah, but that's not really our, our department. Right? Uh, that's, that's water conservation, and that's the water department. Right. Well, I mean. Might be a different regulation. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if it's water supply, I think that might be DBW, but that's the, one of the reasons I want to talk to those people. Because yeah, I, well, yeah, I think we should. Yeah, because yeah, I want to know. Well, I send it out like we've done with. Yeah, because I want to know, you know, you have, it, it's a whole bunch of different implications, but of course then it involves, you know, a wider circle of people. But yeah, it's still something we have to consider, and we and we should note it that you know, um, there there's some there's some things in the Orleans one that says you know the board can require stricter if they deem there's a health hazard involved or nearby or something of that nature, or they can increase the testing requirements, or they can widen the scope of the testing requirements. So. It, that has some built-in safeguards, and I think that's a good example for us. Um, I like 
I like some of um, Marshall's, I think, has some better explanations on some of the definitions, but I think there, um, they have a huge required list of reportable water supply, which is more equal to a public water supply. And what the people that I have dealt with with wells, I have told them this. I said, if this was my well, I would pay the extra money now to have it tested according to public well standards so that I absolutely know what the good and the bad of you know, all those different items are. Um, because if I go strictly by the state statute, there's a very limited amount of testing that's involved. Basically, you don't have any fecal coliform, so you call out your good. Which, you know, it doesn't tell you if you have a corrosive pH, which if you have copper pipes can color your hair. <laughs> you can have the water. Um, you should see my face. <laughs> you should see Pete Spencer when he's wearing a hat. That's a dead giveaway. Yes. Yes. Um, you know, I think I think we want to know things. You got to know the nitrogen. You got to know the the um, radon. Um, you got to go. To, you should know the iron, and, the iron and manganese, because that will that will lead to colorization of the water. And of course, if you ever do white laundry with brown water, you're going to be pretty pure. Um, but they can put filters on the systems because I grew up with a filter on our system, our water supply. Does the radon come in gas form, liquid form? Is it coming through the water? It can come in through. It can come in through the water because it. it it, now that'll shut a lot of gas in the house. Is that the problem? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. I don't. No, I, I think you can, you can. You can. You can drink it like it's being so in, the, from in the water. Yeah. All right. So it wouldn't come in and dissolve out of the gas and settle in the house. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But that's another reason you know you want you want to know these things. Um, I think I think these. You know, I, I don't like their Marshfield's list, but... Um, you have not had a request in recent memory for a bottle of well. It was six months, nine months, we have not had any requests for it. Um, it's not a good night to ask about it. Um, let's see. It was a one up in Bates Lane. That was a while ago. They did they did two or three tests there, and those were fine. There was there was a one up on Glades. Um, I'm not remembering it. Yeah, I'm not remembering it. There's a bunch of women who went off. I mean, this is yeah. very frequent. Yeah. Um, and we've heard no update on, on, on the, that place situation. No, it's in court. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I mean, when Brandon has anything, he emails Frank and I, and sometimes Trish. So. so I guess what's going to happen is you're They'll probably scan these in and then highlight the things you like. And Frank, you volunteered to kind of put that list together a little bit, and then we can pick through it. Yeah, I would. I would say the first thing I would look at would be definitions. Okay, and and we'll get that to you. And then some of the um, administration stuff, like. Um, registering or permitting um, and what kind of information has to be submitted, um, what kind of testing has to be done, stuff like that. Um, I, I would, I would, I'm going to separate it out with that kind of stuff first and, and then we'll, 
will go to stuff that's more irrigation. <coughs> well, we want it placed on a plan. Oh yeah. And with any surrounding oh, yeah. septic systems or any yes. other wells or yeah, yeah, all of that. And the plan would show if it was in the aquifer. Yeah, yeah. And just by, you, just we, by locus. Of well, we, well, we could. We have the water protection zone yeah. that's been established by the, the, yeah. the planning board. So that would be the perfect thing to use. Are you in the water protection zone? Because that'll tell us right there, pretty much. Um, we can also ask, what is the nearest <coughs> water source, i.e. a well or reservoir to your location? They can scale that off a plan and give up. Well, they can, they can say it's well 17, and then we'll have an idea I mean, between the address, and we know where Well 17 is, so... And this, does this application have yeah. to be submitted by a licensed... Um, well... <coughs> well, the, there's, there's a couple of things. One, have, one was in here that said the drawing should be done by a registered engineer, a registered librarian, <coughs> or a registered license, a professional engineer, which is basically a plan that shows where all the stuff is. Okay. By instrument, so it's but then the permit application can be by the well driller, and then he has to supply a bunch of other stuff. Um, and you know, for people whose wells are already in, I think we can probably develop a um, a quick fill in the blank of you know what they might be able to remember. Now if it's if they've already purchased the house and it was already in, we're sort of out of luck. You know, we can get we can get what we can get. Yeah, there may be a plan on file already, the the, the subject plan. Or but, but that'll be it, you know. Um, anytime somebody's wanted to do an irrigation well, I told them we're supposed to get the well drillers logs and very rarely do we. Um, but I've also told them the distance from the septic system, and I said, and it's not just the septic system on the property you are at, it's any of the ones around you, mm -hmm. too. You have to know you've met those septic. Do any of these rates have the uh, well drillers register with the town in order to drill a well? One of them does, yeah. Do but, I mean, they're all required by the state, and you can get those listings online. I know they're required, but, but that's what I'm saying. This way we can have more control over that in terms of giving us the, the lots. Oh, yeah. Well, right. the, well, the other thing, it's the same thing where I did the Title V inspectors. Yeah. They, were, yeah. Yeah. They, were screw, they were screwing up the groundwater cap of, you know, levels. And I said, I am not going to go through this each and every time with this particular firm because they're getting it wrong all over the place. I said, you know, if somebody doesn't kind of do it right, then I'm going to have the ability to kick them out of town. Mm -hmm. Because DP, there was too much going on with them. They just couldn't, they couldn't do enforcement, you know, in a timely manner to take care of, get a bad apple out of the crowd, you know. So if we register them and we find somebody's not doing stuff right, then we can get rid of them. And we can, you know, let let DP know what we did and why we did it. And to restrict your own laws. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, if they have the information, they can always supply it. But I mean, the point is, you don't necessarily have to sign off as something being able to be used until we have the right information. So I think that's the game plan, is I'm going to give you definitions. Some of them will be the same. The point is, is to pick the one we think is the best explanation. Well, this of is it. what I think we should do, Dr. So tell me, the offering that I know, I know. So, so give me the sets and tell me which ones you think are definitions you said you think are the best. They, these guys have already, we've all read the different towns once. Right. You can pick, a, pick them out and then we'll put them, you and I will put them in one document. All right. After I get my scanning, you know, my, uh, and I don't do this personally. Yes, I know. There's a, 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 a lady named Linda who works <laughs> with me and she's very good at this. And so I abuse the privilege all the time that she's, She's figured out how to convert stuff okay. into uh, work. All right, well, I can and go. Then, and that, then you can email it. Once you and I have cut out all the redundancies, <laughs> then we can email it around and they can sort of look at it as a uniform and then we can start adding and subtracting from that basis. OK? 
Okay, and if there's something that they like the definition from another town, we can always take out the one you and I put in and put that one in. Okay, all right, all right. I will go through and I will pick the ones I like. Yeah. And I will, and I will, probably what I will do is I'll circle them and then we'll scan it to you. Yeah. yeah. What kind of timeline do you need for that? What do you think? Would you I think I can, week before you go on vacation? I think I can get the definitions done this week. I'm not, I'm not so sure about some of the other stuff. Yeah, no, but that's but, as long as we got a little deadline, because everybody works better with the deadline. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, what I was going to say is I'm just looking at my calendar. Today is the 23rd. Um, you're away next week. Uh, the 6th, I will not be here. I will be away myself. Okay. So I, I, I mean, there's a two-member. Yeah. We have an agenda. Uh, yeah, we have forum, to because Cosmo's, um, Cosmo's Cafe septic system is in for repair. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to, it's, it needs a, it needs a variance, it actually needs to go to DEP. He's closing the last week in August and the first week in September so they can actually put it in. So we've got, that's my deadline. I have to, I'm going to review it this week. So if there's any corrections, the engineer can make it the next week because when the week I come back is our meeting on the 6th. Yeah. So if we had something preliminary, nothing that's going to be voted on, but something oh, to no. look at for the 6th meeting, that would be great. And then. As you yeah. said, that's the definitions. If we have that by the sixth, then we can work on the other stuff for the following meeting after yeah. that. Yeah. Which would be around the twentieth, and then it looks yeah, like it maybe is by mid-September we could have this put to bed. It is the twentieth. Yeah. 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 So I, you know, I can probably give you the. Um, this will be a great thing to keep in mind, right? I give you the um, def definitions this week, and then maybe the next time I'll give you the administration stuff. Yeah. And then we can do irrigations, irrigation stuff, and then we can do, um, I think potable might take a little longer, but, you know. By October, or the first of October. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think, because I, I, I just, every day is different around here, so you never know what you're going to get. Believe me, I think everyone of us can understand that. <laughs> Never know what walks through the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, so I'm um, just uh, right on to the gas. It is one of the leading causes of, causes of lung cancer, according to the EPA. Well, that's the whole thing with the foundations. So, and I understood yeah, that. Yeah, we should figure out whether even testing the water for radon makes sense. Just because some town put it on there to thin the water. I'm not sure that makes sense. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, I've, I've got you know, like falling in another boat in the fog, you don't know if they're going the right way either. <laughs> well, yeah, the only good thing is, they, is they, hit the, they hit the rocks first yeah. and not oh. you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you follow somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I don't want to require no, I to test for something that it's not necessary. necessary. Yeah. No, but um, I, I, can, I, have a, I have a resource I can access okay. for that. So. Um, that's why I say if it comes out of the water and gas and then would form if you had a sink in the basement and you're filling water up and then the gas comes out, I don't know how that would work if, if that would be a uh, research we'll find out. Okay, okay I've got... And the spring water too. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's because if it... If it being released in the ground. Yeah, it, it, could, it, 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 it comes, comes up with the water. <laughs> yeah, it comes up with water, but it, you know, it's in the rocks. And right, that, right. I mean, that's where yeah. it all comes from. Yeah. And you have plenty of that around here on front of me, so you either get your gas or you step in mud. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, so we have a game plan. We have a game plan for well regulations. And uh, is there any other new business? Um, Mary, you got some bills to sign? Yeah, I just are, have to. Are, are, are they still on track for um, the um, uh, sewer regulation? This is uh, the that refund we I think the next day I had was uh, last week, and I well, Frank already signed it. So well, I, I have no idea because I mean, it all sounds like it was going to revolve around town council. Right, and, and then, so we put it off for a month. So I don't know. I don't know how what how quick town council's moving. Um, and town mysteries on vacation this week. Town mysteries on this vacation this week. We can check with that, right? I can send 
So yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to see what they come up with. Yeah, 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 I really. Yeah, well, you said it's a day to day, is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Right? Okay. No, that's fine. So the, uh, I didn't have a chance to ask. Yeah. But uh, the, the meeting went easy. The meeting went well. well. I did the other one the other day, that's right. I got a few The meeting went well. Uh, our, our input, did it help? Did we? Uh, well, I think, oh, yeah, it stopped everything. <laughs> they put, put the brakes on the whole approval. I think they were going to approve them that night. Right. And I think two out of three. Yeah, that's right, 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 right. There's too many moving parts, and, and yeah. especially based on this new court case that just got decided. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, you have you have a professor, you have a lawyer on that board, you have a finance person, um, and I think I think it really caught Trisha's eye as well. So that's good. We're doing our job. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Right. And, and I mean, and, and, and review it a little bit more. Yeah. And Really, because they you may have to just knock off some of that pieces as opposed exactly. to trying to do it. Well, I suggested that night that you know, why don't you prove the part you don't have a problem with so it's some yeah. stuff's at least yeah. in yeah. place. But even on the hookups, they may, you, they may actually have to make it to you know, a set of rules for emergency hookups or or yeah. or, or betterment, future betterment. They didn't really address the, the emergency connection. Yeah. We didn't get to that. No, correct. Yeah, that's um, I mean, I think it's more important for them to come up with a system, a standardized system that is, whether it be for the spaghetti, spaghetti lines or not, that we have a, we know exactly, we know pretty much how they're going to react on a particular case. Right. It would just be more standard. So if somebody knows that they're being treated just like the next person. Well, yeah. that's why I wrote this stuff out. Yeah. And and when I get emailed it to Tricia, she says, I don't know the board will want to approve this or include this, but they may not want to deal with emergency tie-ins. And I'm going, I said, that's That their, was the whole point. I said, I said, that's their call. However, it is provided for in the consent order. So, I mean, and I think the expectation already has been established in this town that this is an avenue yep. to go. And I do not want to get in the... And and spell I spell it out now before it's. I, I don't want to get in the argument again about, you know, because if it goes, it still goes to the plant where it goes by pipe or truck. I mean. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to send it, they're going to have a town council review it and, and, and then get more input after the meeting on it that yeah. it will be, public, will be publicized, it will be better than this last one. And uh, so I think this is going to be a little bit. I know the contractors were very upset about the cost. Because they were involved with some people who had or in old places where they'd already paid for that. Yeah. And um, one of them, that Foam Road one, got straightened out by town council at the last minute before, because somebody was threatening a lawsuit. That was why. Um, the when, yeah, why, that's why one of the real estate agents was here. Because uh, when she called me up and I said, what? And I said, why? And I said, I said, I think the only one that can overrule her is yeah. Trisha. Yeah. So, I mean. That's why they're going to take a deep breath on it. Yeah. Back. yeah, they really need to. Yeah. They really do. Yeah. I mean, I understand yeah. what they're doing yeah. and yeah. why, but I think, yeah. you know, the yeah. other yeah. 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 half yeah. looking yeah. at it. Well, yeah. 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 Exactly. Because, yeah. I mean, to I'd rather spend money on town council that looks at it and we get it right than we get it wrong and spend money on losses. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. All right, I would like to do it twice. First, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Uh, I was just going to say, is there a, uh, uh, we finished old business, we finished new business, you're all set, you good? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you.